Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? What's going on? Sitting here chilling, we on? Yeah, we on, the red light on. What's up, man? Yo, y'all share this video, man. Y'all share this video. I was sitting here, I was at the park. I was working out, we just had a thunderstorm. It started storming and everything. You see the windows in here, it got water on. Um, good morning, good morning. Got the dope coffee. Got into it with the girl at the 7-Eleven about the coffee. Anyway. Um, black rap music is killing black children. That's a fact. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's not even a discussion. The black rap music is killing black children. And let me just qualify right from the door. I'm a foundational black American. My people from America. I'm part of them descendants of the slaves that were brought here. I didn't grow up in Africa, I didn't grow up in the Caribbean, my bloodline don't go back there. My bloodline grow right here. And, you know, allow me to um, elucidate and expound further upon what I talk about when I'm saying that it's killing black children. In instances, in a lot of instances, it is causing physical death to black children. Yeah, but that's not primarily what I'm speaking on and what I want to highlight. The death that I want to highlight is the mental death, the death of the spirit the death of the soul the death of their enthusiasm killing their creativity killing their imagination killing their Creativity. Killing their minds. Just came from the barbershop. Got the dope bed. It's killing black children, man. It's killing black children. And there's many, I mean, we can, we can pontificate and we can hypothesize and we can conjecture about all the myriad um, and different reasons why this is the case. But if y'all know me, well, you don't know me. You never will know me because I never let you, I never allow you to get to know me. But if you've watched my channel, you know how I get down on this channel. I always blame myself for my life. I take accountability for my life. I take responsibility for my life. When something go wrong in my life, I look for the part I played and blame me. And when something go right in my life, I look at the part that I play and I congratulate me. I keep the focus on me. Uh, 
See, we all have choices. We all have free will. You can choose to do whatever it is you want to do in this life. Um, you know, I don't know where the black fathers are. You know, and again, we want to talk about blaming ourselves. You know, the parents of these kids. That's disseminating and spewing this death music, this death music. Um... You know, it, it, it's 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 a hundred percent our fault, thousand percent, thousand percent, thousand percent. And maybe I shouldn't even be talking to y'all. I shouldn't even be talking to people my age maybe I should just be maybe all I should do with y'all those who are my age and maybe a little younger or older maybe I should just throw the topic out there on the floor but let me talk to the to the young dudes man let me talk to y'all I want to talk to y'all going into the seventh grade the eighth grade the ninth grade the tenth grade eleventh grade twelfth grade Man, do not follow these stupid ass rappers, man. Do not. Do not follow them. Do not. I know you see that their life, they lead the life of a rock star. They got girls, cars, and money. Perhaps. A lot of that stuff could be rented or just video props. But they are leading you down the wrong path, homeboy. Homegirl. They leading y'all down the wrong path. They leading you down the path to destruction. To death. Mental death. Spiritual death. Self-esteem death. Self love death. These niggas is corny, man. These rap niggas is corny. And you can send this video to them, and I'm talking about all of them. All of them. All of them. And they don't love you. They do not love you. They do not love you. And they do not care about you. Because if they did, they wouldn't say and do the things that they do on this music. They all for themselves. They all for themselves. Whether you live or die or your spirit is crushed, destroyed, it means nothing to them. As long as they're making some money, that's the way they're looking at it. They do not care nothing about you and don't you never, ever, ever forget that part. I'm the one that love you. I'm the one that care about you because I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you what it is. These niggas is fake. They corny. And they are not worthy to be leaders. And in today's society, our artists and our athletes have been elevated to positions of leadership, even though they have nothing to offer in terms of leadership skills, other than that they know how to shoot a three-pointer, or they know how to catch a football, or they know how to hit a double in the gap, 
or they know how to sing a note and make a music video or write a lyric, make a rap song. These motherfuckers ain't no leaders. They ain't no leaders. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. And let me tell you something, man. Let me tell y'all something. I'm talking to the younger dudes, man. And the younger girls, man. Eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, right there. Let me tell y'all something, man. Don't throw your life away. Don't throw your life away. Don't throw it away. Don't listen to nothing what these rap niggas is saying, man. There's nothing celebratory about killing somebody, about getting high all day. And they smoke weed in front of y'all on these videos not caring, understanding that they are influencers, they understand that fully. They understand that they have the ability to lead and impact lives, but they get on these music videos and they smoke weed on the screen and they put it out and they don't care that you nine and 10 years old, you 11, 12, 13 years old and you, you buy all their music and you watch all their videos and that you think that perhaps because he smoked weed and he, whatever he do, he carry a gun or whatever, that you have to do that in order to be down like him, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't want that life. You don't want no parts of that life. If you're a mathematician, then be a mathematician, don't be no rapper. All of y'all wanna be rappers. All y'all niggas can't rap. All y'all, most of y'all are whack. Whatever your gift is, whatever your genius, and you've all been blessed with a genius, highlight that. Um, focus upon that. Bring your whole mind and attention onto that. Concentrate on that. And be your own great person in your own life. Ain't nothing good about this music, man. I don't listen to none of them. I don't listen to none of them. I used to get high. I used to get high. I used to smoke weed. I used to use all kind of drugs. I used to get high. I don't get high no more. I've been clean over 31 years. October be 32 years. October be 32 years. I don't drink. I don't get high. I don't do nothing. I just look good. That's all I do. And mind my business. You don't want that kind of life. You don't want to get involved in the drug game. And weed is a drug. You don't want to get involved in that. I started smoking weed in the seventh grade. I started smoking weed in the seventh grade. And what started out as fun ended up as a nightmare, a horror story. I started in 81. Nine years later, it ended in a horror show. It was a horror show. It was a horror show. And I started out smoking weed and it got so deep. I destroyed myself. I destroyed myself with weed and drugs. I killed myself. 
fucked with weed and drugs. I destroyed and murdered my ambition. I assassinated my drive and enthusiasm for life. I choked out my potential. Yes, I did. I gave up and quit on a lot of things. I gave up and quit on me. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I've seen it do that to a lot of people. I've seen weed do that to a lot of people. And weed is, it's a silent killer because your descent and your downfall is not immediate or instant, it's gradual. And you think that you're doing better than what you're actually doing and you don't really see the damaging effects until weeks, months, and years down the line. And then you have the potential to justify smoking weed because now it's legal and you see these corny ass rap niggas doing it. These suckers, these sucker rap niggas doing it. But if you were able to step outside of yourself and view yourself from the third person, you would see that you living way below your potential, that you punching below your weight and that you holding yourself back and that you're destroying yourself. That's a true story. And some of y'all may be able to quit and go on and lead beautiful, productive lives and be tremendous, great individuals within your life. You don't necessarily have to have fame and fortune and be well known. You can, you can be a hero to your daughter. You could be a hero to your son. You could be a movie star to your family. Some of y'all will let that go. Some of y'all may be able to smoke weed and be a productive member of society and it may not have that big of an impact on you. You may be able to manage it and maybe only get high every two weeks or on the weekend or when you get with a little honey or whatever. Some of y'all may be able to do that. But a lot of y'all are gonna graduate and progress to harder drugs. And some of y'all are gonna have constant adversity as a result of your drug use. Your health is gonna take a toll. Your physical health, your mental health is gonna be damaged. Your spiritual health, you're gonna damage yourself Some of y'all gonna go to jail In prison as a result of your drug use And some of y'all gonna die True story, that's a fact Guaranteed Guaranteed Guaranteed, thousand percent Thousand percent I've seen it in my life I've seen it I've seen it A lot of dudes and people I know that messed around with drugs are out of here. They gone too soon and too early. These is facts that I'm stating. I don't care if you like what I'm saying or not. It don't even matter to me. It don't even matter to me. I don't care if you like it or not. But the choice is yours. The choice is yours And let me tell you something right now I don't care which choice you choose I don't care what you do You understand? I don't care about you And what you what choice you make No I don't Because it ain't going to impact me at all I care about the choice that I make About my life And how it impacts my life And I care about the choice of little Sean And the choice that he makes I don't even 
I mean, he listened to it. Sean is 11, so he's going to hear this music, but he know better because I talked to him. He know better. I wouldn't have him look up to none of these rappers at all. At all. These are low vibrational individuals. Black rap music is killing black children. Without a doubt. 6,000%. 6,000%. I'm right. These dudes are idiots. These rappers are idiots. Idiots with a megaphone. Idiots with a voice. Bad poker, man. And y'all got to be able to discern that, man. You got to be able to decipher what's fake and what's real. Yeah. So I hope y'all doing all right. I hope y'all doing all right. I'm chilling hard. I should go back over there and get me some more pull-up money. I may do that since it stopped raining. Share this video, man. Sean G. Peace.